Uh, I'm a general practitioner from Iran, but here in Australia, I'm a PhD student and I'm working on uh, headache disorders, especially migraine. So my background is uh, I've worked as a general practitioner, but have done like research for about five or six years on headache disorders. And here specifically on designing clinical trials and systematic reviews on migraine disease. Uh, I don't know if you have heard about a phone application which is called Migraine Buddy. Uh, Migraine Buddy is like a smartphone application, and at the moment they have more than 2 million users and about 400,000 active users. So it is designed uh, to work for migraine patients, like a headache diary, but it has lots of other features, like it, it can collect data by sensors, movement of the phone and lots of surveys, and it's a good uh, user-friendly phone application for migrant patients. Like in Australia, I think we have about 20, 25,000 users, but globally about more than 2 million users. We decided to check uh, the patterns between, uh, like the real data, which is uh, reported in the phone application, and check if there is any pattern during the year. So what we decided was to check the difference between the 2018, 2019, and 2020 in terms of changing in headache frequency and uh, four most reported headache triggers. There are lots of other data that can be used, but we were interested in the changing in headache frequency and most reported headache uh, triggers, migrant triggers. This data is uh, self-reported and migrant diagnosis is self-diagnosed. So uh, like the patients, they think they have migraine, but based on some surveys, they have headache specialists, they have they are, they are visiting neurologists, but it's self-diagnosed. The, the, the main findings were uh, interesting because in, uh, we, we found an, an increase in headache frequency from 2018 to 2019 and from 2019 to 2020. But at the other hand, uh, the four most reported triggers, which were stress, lack of sleep, neck pain, and anxiety, uh, somehow they decreased the percentage. You know, we, uh, in terms of the participants, uh, what we did, we gathered data from the active users, and our definition of active users was the users which uh, have reported at least one headache in that month, in January, February, April, and March of the mentioned years. So in 2018, we had data from nearly about 110,000 users. In 2019, about 125, something like that. And in 2020, 160,000. So we saw like that more users are reporting their headaches, uh, during the years, so we had an overall increase in the number of reports, uh, but the percentage showed that, like everything, the triggers decreased, but the headache frequency increased. So, like headache frequency was like in 2018 about 4.9 headache days per month in 2018, but like in 2019 it was about 5.2, and in 2020 about 5.4 headache days per month. 